explore a meditation where you're able to track the energy flow in your body and allow the release of energy from the places where it feels a bit stuck. So as you're sitting or standing, you can scan your body and notice which areas are open and spacious and which areas feel a bit more contracted and dense. Without making it mean anything, just sensing. Once you scan your body and find these particular areas in your body, you can also view your entire body as a whole unit. And take a moment to observe your entire body without dividing it part by part or noticing which areas are contracted or noticing the difference. You just sense yourself. Take a deep, full, full breath into what you're sensing. Notice that your mouth is relaxed and your throat is relaxed. So when you breathe in, the breath comes into this empty tube from your mouth. It travels all the way down to the bottom of your belly, all the way down to your pelvic floor. Like I invited you in the beginning, you can either remain sin sitting or you can stand up. And if you are standing, make sure that your feet are parallel and your knees are slightly bent and your body is loose and relaxed. It's very important to keep your knees slightly bent so you are grounded, you're connected to your legs and your pelvis has the ability to move. And once again, I want to scan, invite you to scan your body and notice if the areas that you found before that were contracted and dense are the same or they have shifted. And if they're the same as before, maybe the feeling has changed. The physical sensation that's associated with this contraction may have changed or shifted. Just notice that difference. Now finding the place in your body which feels most contracted, most dense. Bring your attention to this place and sense all of the physical sensations that are present there. Notice how this contraction, this density feels in your body. And wherever this place is for you, I invite you to increase the contraction gradually, gradually with every breath. You start to contract this place even more. Contract it to the maximum. and stay there and hold it for about 30 seconds. You hold it, make this contraction even more. Hold it, keep your attention on it. Hold it, hold it. If you feel you contracted it to the maximum, you contract it even more, a little bit beyond that. And now, 
with exhalation you start to let go this contraction gradually letting go and as you notice this contraction melts like an ice cube melting from the periphery melting towards the center notice if there's any movement slight undulation slight unwinding movement that starts to come out of this area this energy that went into contraction and for you to actively engage in this contraction where does it want to go when you release it And as this energy begins to spread, where does it want to travel in your body? Simply allow it to flow where it wants to flow, where it needs to go, and allow it, this energy that moves on the inside of you, let it move you. As you release this contraction, you release the energy. Where does this energy want to flow? And the movement can be so subtle that you can only feel it. If somebody is looking from the outside, it barely looks like you're moving. But you can feel it from the inside. There's some sort of swaying, some sort of unwinding. So let this energy move through your body. And whatever is left, whatever didn't dissipate, imagine that your entire tissues on the inside are like a sponge. And this sponge is soaking in this energy that it, it settles everywhere, distributed evenly throughout the interior of your body. Take a deep, full breath into it. Another one. Now again, bring your attention to this place which were, was contracted earlier. The the first place that you experimented with bringing in contraction even more. And notice if anything has changed. Notice if there's any other place right now in your body that became more activated. Again, being aware of your body, of the interior of your body, and also more of the superficial layers. And finding either the same place as before or different areas in your body. The areas of density and contraction. And once you find this place, notice all of the physical sensations that make this place stand out for you. How does this density, how is this contraction feel? Strictly the physicality of it. And again, very slowly, gradually, you start to engage this contraction. You start to increase it, whether in the same place or a different place. Let it gradually grow. You bring it, this contraction to a peak, wherever it may be. So use all of your energy to keep this contraction, to keep it growing, growing, growing until it comes to, in, to the peak in your body and hold it for about 30 seconds. Keep holding it, holding it, holding it. If the sound comes for you, you can allow Stay there and now very gently, slowly, you begin to release again 
like an ice cube starting to melt from the outside towards the inside. You release this contraction slowly and notice what begins to happen with this energy that you are releasing. How this energy wants to move you, where it wants to go in your body. Just simply allow it. And as this energy begins to spread, notice where and how your body wants to move. Simply give it permission. Give your body permission to do what it wants right now. So you are able to direct this energy to distribute evenly through your entire system. Imagine that all of your tissues on the inside are like a sponge. And this sponge soaking in the water as it starts to absorb into the sponge. The same way your tissues, your muscles, your fascia, your bones, all the way down to your bone marrow is absorbing this energy that you just released from one particular place that it's evenly starts to distribute all over your whole body. Still allowing this unwinding as this energy travels throughout your system. As this energy settles all over, notice if your body posture begins to readjust and to change. Because when we release the contraction, our alignment begins to come back to being very neutral. So notice if your shoulder is released, one shoulder may be dropping, another one is aligning with, with the rest of the body that your pelvis may want to move and shift, that your head may want to move forward or back or center a bit. Notice how your body begins to restack itself to a neutral position. And these adjustments are so slight, it doesn't have to be a big movement for you to feel the difference. And now again, scanning your body. And finding yet a different place of contraction different place of density where you feel that there's some stuckness where your energy is is not moving with this previous experience it made you contract and this energy that's been trapped in your body has been sitting there for years maybe finding this place and this time, bring in a few deep, full breaths to activate this place even more. Breathing into this place where you find the place of contraction. Visually send your breath into this place so you can be even more sensitive. You can bring even more activation. And again, slowly, slowly, you begin to contract this place even more. <clears throat> And if this contraction is associated with some posture, you can exaggerate this posture. If you feel this contraction in your shoulders, you can even bring your shoulders up towards your ears, contract it, or if it's your belly, you can squeeze your belly so your whole frontal line begins to contract. Notice how this contraction in your body affects the rest of your body. 
And stay there and hold it, hold it, hold it. Bring your contraction to the fullest, to the maximum. And stay there. If the sounds come for you, simply allow. Yes. And now again, very, very slowly, super slowly, you begin to relax this contraction. Really take your time, taking your time, relaxing this contraction. Don't just drop it right away. So slow, like the ice cube melting, and the water stops, starts to drain, drip from the outside, but the inside is still frozen, but little by little, it's melting, melting, melting towards the, the center. And as this energy again begins to release, notice how it wants to flow and where it wants to flow how it affects your entire body. So you allow it to run through its meridians, through its channels. Let it realign your skeleton, your posture. And slowly, slowly let all of your tissues, your muscles, your fascia, your bone marrow, your blood vessel, let it all of your interior, let it absorb this energy evenly distributed through your entire body. And keep allowing whatever soft and subtle movement that happens on the inside that wants to move your body, let it happen. All this works by allowing, using your inner vision, viewing yourself from the inside, and directing your flow. So it evenly is distributed. And notice what begins to shift, what begins to happen as the places in your body where the energy was stuck now beginning slowly to let go. It may take a few more times to practice this exercise for you to get to the very center of this contraction. But even now, doing it a couple of times, two, three times, already something has shifted. Notice what these physical sensations of these shifts are. And once again, finding a place in your body where you feel this movement that wants to spread, maybe feeling a bit stuck or dense or you feel some contraction there, allow yourself to feel it. Finding this place. Maybe putting your hands on it if it helps you. And again, you begin to contract, consciously contracting, contracting this area in your body. Again, you're bringing the contraction into activation and letting this activation grow. Notice as you contract this part of your body, how the rest of your body begins to respond. Everything in your body is connected to everything else. So if you contract one part, the rest of your body somehow will respond to that. And bringing this contraction to a peak, 
If you feel you contract it to the maximum, you contract even a little more. And stay there, stay there. Let the sound come if it comes for you. Hold it, hold it a few seconds more. And now again, gradually you begin to release the contraction, staying fully, fully present. How it begins to melt. And if there's any emotional response that comes together with it, simply allow, but stay present to your physicality. How this contraction begins to melt, how this energy starts to move throughout your system, throughout your body how it begins to evenly distribute and flow through all the channels in your body. <clears throat> how this energy wants to move you. you know, simply allow all of the emotional response that comes to the center. How your spine regains its freedom. How your neck and shoulders and pelvis begin to readjust Your body slowly starts to come into the alignment. Very small flowing movements. You have this first hand knowledge when you're moving so slow with so much awareness, you get this first hand experience of how your physical contraction and whatever part of your body it is, is holding the emotional response within it. And it doesn't have to be huge, grand expression. It's just for your ability to realize what is held in different areas of your body. And now again, as this energy begins to spread, let it seep into the tissues of your body, evenly distributed everywhere. So you release it from one part of your body and then it flows all over, moving you. You can harness it, you hold it, so you have the use of it later when you need it. So we release and we harness for later use. And again, keep allowing your body to realign itself. Reposition so your skeleton just comes into this neutrality everything feels like it's aligned with everything else your head is in the right place your hips are in the right place your shoulders are aligned your spine has the proper curves everything is stacked up on top of each other in a beautiful aligned way and if you're sitting down maybe you can try standing up so you can experience the difference in your body right now. Yeah. Standing with your feet evenly, position parallel. And first you look at your feet, that they're evenly positioned. And then bring your attention to your ankles and knees. Shifting your attention up to your pelvis, noticing if your pelvis is evenly aligned, so it's not twisted or one hip higher than the other. Noticing how the pelvis comes into alignment itself. And then shifting your attention to the rest of your spine. And then higher up into thoracic spine, your rib cage, and then 
moving up to shoulders notice that your shoulders are evenly aligned that none that either your shoulders is not higher than the other notice that your arms are just evenly relaxed at your sides shift your attention higher into your neck notice that your head is positioned in the right way it's relaxed not sticking forward or moved back that it's just relaxed on top of your neck it's like a cord that's moving through your entire spine pulling you up through the center of your head this invisible cord that's aligned everything in your core Take a deep, full breath into this neutral posture. So your body can remember what it feels like. We use this very keen, acute sense of ourselves to, to track these sensations to track how the energy when it's released from a block that's been there for years sometimes is now begins to move us and support us in realigning and this energy can be used later whenever you need it so it's not anymore wasted into just keeping your contraction in place it's available for other things it's available for your creativity. A few more deep, full breaths into this new sense of awareness of your physicality. Notice if there's any movement still wants to happen for you, simply allow it. How your spine wants to just undulate and move and send wave from your pelvis all the way up through your neck your shoulders and pelvis wants to unwind the grounding that you experience in your legs and your feet connected to the floor very beautiful connected sense of your physicality great so now you can open your eyes and walk around the space holding this integrity of your skeleton integrity of alignment move around the space keeping this alignment in place notice what's different how is your connection with the floor different from before what's changed or is it the same as before just keep noticing the slightest shifts in your physicality so as you're moving as you take in each step how it affects the rest of your alignment are you engaging your core as you move around? A 
And with this exercise, you can repeat as many times as you like the contraction and releasing until you keep finding different layers of contraction that you hold in your body. You can repeat it as much, as, as, as often as you like and keep going deeper and deeper, uncovering deeper layers of tension that you hold. Tension that's connected with past trauma, with past experiences, with shock, with developmental trauma. And keep allowing the release. And now try to increase the speed of your walking, that it's not so slow as you're walking as you normally would walk on the street. But try to keep that integrity, the structural integrity. And notice if you're able to keep this integrity as the speed of your walking is increased. Your skeleton is still aligned properly. Notice where's your breath. As you move around, if you're fully breathing, the breath travels through your entire torso, your chest rises, your belly rises in order. Okay, I'm coming again to a stop somewhere in the room. For a moment, just sense again. <clears throat> 